2019. Good trip so far. It had rained a whole lot September, October, and November, so the place was lush and green, but still saw a lot of game. Even this coyote coming in to eat some grapes. So I'm thinking if I shoot him now, the arrow is toast. But then maybe a headshot right here. What do you think? So I still tried for the headshot, but those coyotes are just too fast. But the Conejo wasn't quite fast enough, was he? third trip to hunt this great place and this great ranch and this is by far the most deer movement I'd seen. Saw more bucks too. Almost every sit. It's running about an 80% success rate for the whole hunt. And also riding around we saw quite a few deer too higher active during the day. Vista. We hiked up to the top of some hills and could see the Sea of Cortez in the distance. Day, we'd eat a heck of a good breakfast, run out and hunt somewhere in the morning, then high rack around a while and scout out a few game cameras and see what we could find. Take a little siesta, eat a heck of an afternoon snack, and then go hunt somewhere that evening based on our local intel. We started to dial in on some pretty decent deer over on the San Francisco. This management buck here ended up 
got some kind of sixth sense. Saw him three times and he got wilier and wilier and he just wouldn't come in to let me put him down. I also got to read one of my new favorite all-time books, The Old Man and the Boy, and the sequel, The Old Man's Boy Grows Older. If you haven't read it, that's a must for any outdoorsman. You gotta watch the body language of these deer in the pop-up. This young buck was a bit nervous, then I heard a snort wheeze behind me, and all of a sudden a macho stepped out. This guy is going to be a handsome fella in a couple years. about got an adrenaline hangover by this point waiting so long for a broadside shot but finally Right after impact, my heart just dropped. I thought I hit him a bit high. Trailed this buck about 2,000 yards in the sand for an hour and a half. And we finally hit some harder ground, couldn't track anymore, and never saw my burrow again. But we did see a coyote. We hung in the area, checked all the water holes in the region, but never saw him again, and gosh dang it. That happens sometimes. And if you bow hunt long enough, it does. Aim a little lower, I guess. Can't believe that deer got away.